Okay, well, let's go load this really quick and remember where we're at. This is really, I forgot, um, just a second. I think the volume's kind of low because it was really high for another game I was playing. Mm, probably a little bit higher than that. Okay, I don't know. That should be good. Is that is that too low? Should I put it up a little bit more? The lighting and everything looks considerably better. Oh, I'll have to check that out then. Sounds it okay. At the race course, Leighton finds that one of the chariots was absent at the time of the statue incident. Henry must approve the removal of any chariot, so Leighton returns to the Lador estate to ask him in person. Oh yeah, this is when we, I think we're finally gonna be able to talk to Henry like, like, in now Henry, rather than past Henry, because I think he's always been too busy for us to actually talk to him. So yeah, that's why I stopped the last time, because I was just like, dang. Hey look, hey Angela. You okay, you got a puzzle for me? Angela, we were hoping to speak with Henry. Is he here now? As a matter of fact, he arrived just a moment ago. Would you wait in the parlor? I'll call him for you. Thank you. Okay, uh, I guess talking to her, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Henry. So, you're still... I assume you still take your tea with milk? Why, yes. Thank you, Henry. You're very welcome. I would never ask a servant to wait on an old acquaintance. Uh-huh. You may find that a bit strange, but I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable. Why not at all? Oh no! It's full of poison! I must say, Henry, the success and fame you've achieved here in town is quite astounding. That is very good. I wouldn't good. call myself successful. 3DS, I've just been baby. very lucky. Which is really funny, because uh, one of the games uh, that I tried the other day on here, because I wanted to see if it ran okay so I could I could give it to a friend, was Dragon Quest VIII, the 3DS version, which everything about it runs good, but holy crap, the... Um, the freaking cutscenes translate horribly from uh, on the on the emulator. They're just like garbled messes, and I'm like, holy crap! I don't know what it is. Like the cutscenes on here, even the DS ones have been good, even though you know, obviously they they're stretched out because this is way bigger than a DS screen. Um, but yeah, I was just like, oh man, that's the thing that sucks because Dragon Quest VIII has a lot of cutscenes in it. And I'm like, man, I don't want it to look bad because it's one of my favorite, uh, it's one of my favorite games. And I'm like, man, either that or I just have her do the PS2 emulation. But, well, PS2 emulations come a long way, so. So, but also the 3DS version is arguably way easier than the PS2 version, which is why I would rather her play that one because the PS2 version could be rough, especially like, Having not having the instant alchemy pot like is a huge thing, but I don't know. I'll mess around with some stuff and, and, and we'll see what I can figure out for her because I really want her to be able to play it. But yeah, sometimes they are. I, I don't know what it is. I guess just the 3D stuff. It, it's it's something they can't really upscale quite the same way. But obviously you see the cutscenes in this game are just fine. Maybe it's because there's there's still like 2D animations or, or, or something, but I don't know. Anyway, to what do I owe the honor of this visit? I was hoping you could answer some questions. You own the Montdor Racecourse, correct? Yes, why? There's evidence to suggest one of your racing chariots was used in the petrification incident the other day. <laughs> Absurd. Those chariots cannot be taken out of the stadium without my written permission. Each one has a serial number that is logged if it is ever removed. Correct. The converse is also true, however. A chariot may be removed given that you have granted permission. 
But yeah, there's bonus content in the stream. That's why I'm kind of like, ah, I I really like. I really, really, really wish that Dragon Quest was one of those games that got ported to Steam as well. Like, because I want it to be like that's the only thing that sucks too is Dragon Quest Eight is only available on the PS2 or the 3DS. That's it. Like, I really wish it was brought up to the point where everybody could access it, you know? But I don't know. That might be a pipe dream. Because <laughs> uh, cause they haven't really taken money of them, many of them off of, like, the Nintendo platform, so. An Nintendo and layer to achieve. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Interesting. What are you implying, Layton? Seems pretty clear to me, Mr. Lador. Simply that your log shows that one of the chariots was out the night of the statue's incident. With your approval. The chariot was removed for repairs and returned to the race course yesterday. Tracks from those chariots match a set of tracks found at the scene of the crime. Well, that's unsettling. There's more. Uh, there are grounds to believe that you were involved with the levitation stunt that occurred last night as well. Layton, you can't be serious. Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to update it later. The thing is, Otter, the last time I tried to update Citra, it, like, crashed out and l got rid of, like, a lot of settings and stuff that I had already set in there. So I was like, eh. But I was also in the middle of streaming, so maybe that had something to do with it. Maybe tonight, after I finish up, I'll make, like, backups of everything and try updating it again. Updating it again. Because, yeah, it got, like, hung up on it, and then it just, like, crashed. I understand that after the incident with the paintings, you donated a number of works to the gallery. When the masked gentleman appeared to be walking on air, I believe he used a wire stretched across the plaza. Those donations were rather hefty parcels, were they not? Their weight was used to secure the wire. This is a ridiculously far-fetched notion, Layton. You had all those heavy donations stored on the top floor so that they could be used to keep the wire taut, correct? Man, Layton, I never would have thought of any of this. Maybe Henry's the masked man. Yeah, no, it was it was not fun. Yeah, that's the thing is every time I opened it, it was like new update. And I'm like, man, are these guys like really updating this like every single day? <sighs> Here, conjecture, but if you must, continue. I understand you've already heard about the black cloth found near the gallery. Oh. The masked gentleman used devices to lift his accomplices into the air and the black cloth to conceal them. What the? <laughs> this is. What? What? Layton, how? Dang, Layton, where is all this coming from? Observers, blinded by neon lights against the night sky, believe the accomplices had simply vanished. But Professor, is anyone really capable of performing such an elaborate stunt? Let me tell you about the village that I'm going to go to in a couple of years, where there's literally, they're all robots. Very lifelike robots. This is totally feasible. Yes, however, such events would require quite a bit of financing. There's definitely- Yeah, no, for sure. Henry, unsurprisingly, you and Dalston top a very short list of suspects with the means at their disposal. While I obviously can't prevent you from suspecting me, I do believe you're forgetting something important. No one's fortune is more tied to this city than mine. If it collapses, I am ruined. So I've heard. However, the more the masked gentleman appears, the busier Mont d'Or seems to become. Without fail, the masked gentleman's acts have all taken place in large crowds near major tourist attractions. One would expect a city experiencing such chaos to gain a reputation for lawlessness and criminal activity. Instead, the rumors seem to focus on the mysterious 
charismatic gentleman who performs miracles. I think anyone hearing such stories would be curious enough to pay Mont Dore a visit. It'd pique my interest, all right. Precisely, to the average onlooker, the masked gentleman's miracles look like a particularly grand performance. And as, as I'm sure you're aware, the number of spectators increases with each subsequent miracle. Leighton, I am I hearing you correctly. Are you insinuating that I hired the masked gentleman to boost tourism? It seems a possibility, yes. My wife apparently trusts you enough to have summoned you here, but 18 years ago, you left Randall for dead and ran off to London. I don't trust you. You betrayed the memory of your friend. Now you have the nerve to make these ludicrous accusations in my own home. I explored every inch of that ancient death trap with nothing but Randall's notes as a guide. Out of loyalty to him, I don't know, you seem like kind of a huge asshole. You have no right to be here. You dishonor his name. Henry, let me explain. Leave, Leighton. There's nothing more to, to discuss. Okay. Very well. We will leave, you dick. But please hear me out about one thing. It concerns the future of your city. Alphonse Dalston is not the criminal, and it's more than likely the masked gentleman will appear again tonight. If you're telling the truth, and I hope to see you tonight as well. If so, perhaps we can unravel this together. I have nothing more to say to you. Angela, please escort our guests out. Of, of course, Henry. Wow, you married a real asshole, Angela. If this game doesn't end with you, like, murdering him, I'm gonna be sad. To illustrate the illusion of walking midair, the masked gentleman used wires strung between the gallery and the marquee. His victims were simply accomplices who were lifted up by balloon-like devices and then cloaked in black cloth. This was no miracle. The masked gentleman had his henchmen mingle in the crowd and then gave the signal. Yeah, we only got three more mysteries. Okay, well, bye, I guess. Oh, hell, oh. I'm sorry, Herschel. It is I who should apologize. I've obviously upset your husband. No, don't worry about Henry. He gets emotional sometimes. Yeah. Especially concerning Randall. Don't worry about my husband. He's kind of a dick. He's a twat. Understood. But I also have the feeling that Henry is hiding something. Oh, I doubt that. Henry is an open book. He always but has been. Angela, come on. You got, we got it. I'm not so certain you know him as well as you pretend to. Yeah. I beg your pardon? Yeah. What do you mean by that, Herschel? <laughs> Am I just... Uh, it's time for Leighton to upset literally everyone. <laughs> eh. I intended no offense, Angela. Uh, All uh, will become clear in time. We will yeah. soon get to the bottom of things. How to call your friend a dumb broad without them be without actually calling them a dumb broad. Sweetie pro oh jeez. Yes, oh. well. Thank you, Herschel. No problem. Da, da. Oh, mystery. Mysteries! Two! Henry is clearly hiding something, uh, which he cannot or will not speak about. What could his secret be? <sighs> Why does Henry continue to pour money into Mont Dor, knowing the masked gentleman might strike at any time? Angela has been acting strangely, and she may be hiding something. Could her odd behavior be somehow related to the masked gentleman? Oh, every problem is the masked gentleman. It certainly has been many years since I knew Angela at school. I confess she seems quite a changed person. Okay, well, continue our investigation. Where? I guess we'll go over here and there'll probably be a chat. Yep. Hey, Professor Leighton, I've been looking all over the place for you. Uh, what can I do for you, Constable? Would you be so kind as to accompany me to the Celebration Boulevard? It's about the masked gentleman case. 
Last gentleman? What is it? Has he appeared again? All I know is my partner wants to talk to you. He was one of the officers on duty during the statues incident. This case seems to be growing more complicated by the second. Indeed, and this officer is on Celebration Boulevard, you say? That's right, uh, but I'll take you to him. A lot of tourists seem to have trouble telling us apart. Eh, must be the uniforms. Y yes It's the uniforms. Must be. Who'd have thought it, showing the great Professor Layton around the City of Miracles? <clears throat> uh, this way, please. Oh. Oh, you're back. You got- He has a puzzle for me! The touchy man has a puzzle! Surprise, surprise! And the surprises do not cease! Our breadcrumb trails of destiny cross before us once again! Uh, nice to see you again, Aldis. Um, good evening. Good evening! Ah, oh, yes, the evening has fallen, and lamentably so have my spirits. But that air of tears no longer avails my eyes now that we meet. New warmth courses through me and soothes my heart. Huzzah! Uh, then I'm glad we could be of help. Yeah, he's just really weird, too. But you must not leave without my gracious gift. I forged this puzzle over a hundred nights. Please take it. I don't want it. What is it? Oh no, it's another one of these. Oh boy, painstaking packing. You have two wooden crates without lids. All the inside dimensions of both crates, length, width, and height are 30 centimeters. You also have numerous boxes with a length and width of 20 centimeters and a height of 10 centimeters. You want to pack as many of these into the crates at once as possible. If you use both crates, what's the maximum number of boxes that can fit at once? There mustn't be any part of the boxes sticking out of the crates. I remember that. Why are there three numbers? Because the easy thing to do would be like, okay, well, you stack. You stack them. One, two, three high in each. Six. That's not gonna fly. No, no, but these people. Put it. Here, because you could put one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Put them sideways. Uh... I feel like 10. I feel like it's pretty straight. Straight as you, if you use the crates in the normal way, you can only fit five boxes in each one. The normal way. Oh, the nor- what? Okay, so I have to probably, like, turn them sideways and... But it said that none of them can be sticking out. Sticking out of the crate. Well, I guess if you put them both together... I think it's 11. I, I think it's 11 if you, like, put the crates together. What do you mean, put, use the crates in the normal way? That's such a, like, dumb way of saying it. Uh, but yeah, if you turn it over, then you can fit. One, two, three. Yeah. I say 11. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. It's not 11! Wow, fuck you, game! <laughs> to crack. Try to think outside the box! Wow, okay, I thought maybe if you stuck them together. Gee... Well, if you can hit five boxes in each crate, the maximum number of boxes should be 10. There's more to it than that, however. Try to think of other ways you can use the crates. You should find a way to fit more boxes inside. That, I don't like this puzzle. When you fill up one of these crates, there's always some space left over. Is there some way you could use this space effectively? Wait, it might be 12. 12, okay, it's 12. 
But I didn't take that into account. Okay. Just because yeah, there'd be solving here. there'd be enough room on one side and on the other side. Okay, it's that ah, was a challenge, that's to be sure. Brain. Yeah, twelve boxes will fit. The trick is to put the two crates together with the open side facing each other. Then you can carry more boxes without any of them sticking out. Not how you use crates, but whatever. I mean, here they'd, they, they'd probably be like, okay, sure, let's sh shove that shit in there. Yeah, sometimes these puzzles, I'm just like, hmm, I don't know about that, guys. Okay, this is the Leighton I expect. He of the intellect that slices through a puzzle like a hot chainsaw through butter. Don't use a chainsaw on butter. That's too much. You're too kind, Aldous. There is something seriously wrong with this man. Ah, oh, your humility is endearing, but with me, unnecessary. I know the reasoning, the wit, the wisdom swirling inside your chapeau. You have brightened my evening. I am certain that you will brighten many more. Goodbye. Well, bye. Until we meet again. I hope that's not, I hope that doesn't happen. I was way too sounds right Yeah, I think they did that on purpose. It's kind of like the pervy grandma. Sometimes it, it's it's like playing Ace Attorney, and you're just like, hmm, like Larry Butts. Every time Larry Butts is involved, you're like, I don't want to see this man. He nasty. I was gonna say something, but nothing actually seemed sufficient. Yeah, I mean that's about right, Emmy. Don't worry about it. Whoa, you definitely have a puzzle for me, new man with a wriggling sack. Wait, where, where'd it go? Hey, where's your mouth? Wait, I'd recognize that smell anywhere. A citizen in distress. I don't like that. <laughs> City's too big. Can I find a thing? Tannenbaum. Ten oh, that's why. Sorry, I saw Tannenbaum, and I immediately thought of Tannenbaum, or... I can't remember her name exactly from Bioshock and I was like I was like dang that that name sounds really familiar uh, pardon me sir I'm uh, Professor Herschel Layton might I be of some service eh hi cheers that'd be ba I just got here and the place has me fair stumped name's uh, Denenbaum by the way what seems to be the trouble well, for one thing, this confounded map doesn't make an ounce of sense. Oh boy. Yeah, y you know, when citizens are in trouble, they smell... Mishmash map. Okay. Whenever new tourists arrive in town, they are given a map to help them with their sightseeing. Unfortunately, the maps have a tendency to fall apart along the fold lines, making it impossible to work out how to get where they want to go. Can you restore the map to its original condition? Maybe you guys should hire a different printing company. <laughs> well, I definitely go there. Isn't the circus like on the far left as well? That's a burger. That's not, that doesn't look like that at all actually. Oh, 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 wait. I think I figured it out. Uh, uh, uh. Da, 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 da. Uh, never mind. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, the circus is on the floor. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful. Burger Just place. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Dun. Okay, I like this one a lot more than the that other one. That was a challenge, to be sure.
Yeah. That should make things a bit easier now. Yeah, I hope we had like a lot of tape. Spot of courage. Aha! Humph. That'll do just nicely. I'm fair chopped with this, let me tell you. Wow, the Professor Layton in action. You really are as good as they say. You're lucky we came along, sir. The professor here is probably the world's greatest authority on puzzle solving. Oh, I wonder how you'd do against the lad who was staying at my house. He was puzzled bonkers too. I treated that lad like my own son, but he went back and left without a, without a word a few months back. I could not believe it. In fact, I came here hoping to find him. Off to a bad start, aren't I? Getting myself lost and all. Don't blame yourself, sir. Everyone finds Montdor bewildering at first. You'll find your feet in no time. I wish you the best of luck in your search. That's half of you. Thanks for helping me out with the map. I'll just be going on my way then. Cheers. Uh, never too busy to help a passerby with his troubles. Yeah, very kind man, Professor. At this rate, you'll have the mystery of the masked gentleman solved before you can say Bob's your uncle. <laughs> I will do my utmost to justify your faith in my abilities, Constable. Oh, Tenenbaum's track. Watch that later. Pardon me, citizens. Oh. That you have a puzzle? No, you don't. Still on the case, eh? Sure, it's not a waste of time. The police say they've already solved everything. Case closed, right? While I do respect the police for their diligent efforts, I strongly believe that this time they're quite off the mark. Ah, honestly, wouldn't be surprised if the gentleman did turn up again, even with Dalston under lock and key. The police don't change their minds easily. We'll need another solid blast of criminal theater for that. I mean, you, you sure are right, sir. Um, to, oh, to the boulevard, down here. Hmm, that's funny, he said he'd be waiting right here. I don't see any other officers here at all. Let's look around a little before we give up entirely. What if he's in the zoomy area? There he is. Yep, we just had to zoom. Aha! Uh -huh. That's my partner there! Not sure what he wanted to tell you, but let's find out. Hey! I brought the professor! Oh, marvelous! You know, I've been hoping for a chance to talk to you for ages, professor! God, they do look exactly the same. Does it concern the masked gentleman? Yes! I'll never forget that night! Seeing our heroes on horseback in hot pursuit of the dastardly villain. It moved me, sir! Uh, sir, plain moved me! Heroes on horseback are you talking about us yes indeed sir it was a sight for sore eyes so it was the boys were also impressed weren't they impressed mm. i've got to tell you professor meeting you in the flesh after that night is an absolute honor i feel like this is a, a man who's not really a policeman you flatter me constable if you want to do any more horse riding while you're in town, just let me know. I'll make a course for you. I... I see. Well, I suppose I might enjoy a little canter. If I have a spare moment during the investigation, that is. Excellent! I'll start working on an obstacle course right away. Now where can I get some swinging axes, I wonder? I'll do my utmost to make sure the course is worthy of your ability, sir. And also incredibly deadly, I guess, apparently. Damn. Constable, I couldn't help but notice that had nothing to do with the masked gentleman. Ah, uh, my apologies. Uh, look on the bright side. You'll end up with a supply of carrots to last you a lifetime. What? Quads in a pod. What does that mean? Continue your investigation. Okay. Well, that helped and not at all, actually. Oh, I see one of the, uh... Mmm, <laughs> come one, come all! Come see the amazing, the sublime, stellar circus! I 
good to see you untangled there, Bungle. No, oh, isn't it just I'm a bungle of joy to be moving my arms again. Uh, walking is nice too. Now I finished putting up all my posters, so now I'm passing out flyers. A fool's work is never done. Don't say that. A lot of people are having fun thanks to your work. You should be proud. Ah, you're such a darling to say that. I'm just trying to do my part. Wow, Bungle didn't have a puzzle where he's like dying? Color me surprised. How about you, do you have a puzzle for me? No. Have you been to the fun fair? The Deorians are all dead proud of it. Uh, you mean Tingly Town, right? That's the one, and according to local legend, some of them rides are supposed to have magic powers. Really? Uh, like what? Well, it's said that if a couple rides the Ferris wheel, they'll be married. It's a fab park, and they always add new things to see and do. Spread them rumors, by the way. How charming. That doesn't sound like magic to me. I want a ride that'll give me the power to solve any puzzle immediately. Luke, now what would be the fun of that? The satisfaction of a puzzle is doing it yourself, or sometimes looking it up on Google. Hmm, I suppose so. All right, maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea. Well, whether you believe the legends or not, you should still check out Tingly Town, because it's a ton of fun. Okay, maybe I should go to Tingly Town. Although, I oh, no, something's happening. What's that? I think someone's running this way. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that, running in the street, especially not with scissors. Oh no, it's this uh, crazy-lipped lady. Did you hear? Something amazable is going on at the Scorpion Casino. I bet it's the mass Dandelman's dandy work. Oh, God, I, I just I feel like I'm dying every time I read her lines. No time to spim spam. If I miss this miracle, who knows when there'll be another one? <laughs> what do you think, Professor? Is the masked gentleman at that casino? Mm, that's not where the last warning said he would be, but anything is possible, I suppose. Well, I'm still on duty, so I'll have to go and see what the fuss is about. I shall head to the casino. Oh, and your lad wouldn't be allowed in there normally, but if you plan on going, I'll tell them to make an exception. It's been an honor, Professor. Ma'am. Child. Going by the map, to get to the casino, we need to head through the shopping district in Chance Avenue. We should go too. Oh, okay, it lights up the path. I didn't even notice that. Oh, hello, sad-looking man. If we head up through the arcade, we should reach the casino. It looks lively, doesn't it? Come on, what are we waiting for? Well, we're waiting for the fact that I need to talk to this skinny old man and see if he has a puzzle for me. Professor, do you see that nervous-looking man over there? Yes, yeah, something is going on there. Look at this nervous man. Yep, puzzle. Oh dear me, how could this happen? What if I'm given the boot? Speaking of which, are, are my shoes untied? No, I'm wearing loafers. Rule Good. Nine. Always Wait. Carry a knife. No, still loafers. Good. Just like you told me. Hi, RC. Maybe we should just move on, Professor. Now, Emmy, it can't hurt to ask. Howdy do! I'm afraid I'm in a rather tight spot at the moment. Now far be it to push my troubles onto you, but uh, you know I'm the accountant, uh, don't you? No? Well, I'm Murphy, bookkeeper for both Mr. Dalston and the Ladores. You will, can you be a bookkeeper for two separate entities? Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, a little background on Mont Dior. The city was founded by Henry Ladore, but a big part of its expansion came from competing with Alphonse Dalston. Here's the good part. Getting arrested is not good for business, you see, and Mr. Dalston has taken quite a hit. That's uh, quite the information you've given us, Murphy. So Dalston's business interests are at risk. Ah, excuse me, I forget you don't have numbers in your blood. Let me show you an example of domestic business then. Okay.
Did you, are you finally done playing Fortnite, RC? At 11 o'clock at night? <laughs> the shopkeepers. A, B, C, D, and E run a baker's, a patisserie, or just, I, don't, I never fucking know how to say that word. A bookshop, a grocer's, and a cafe. But that's like a confectionery place, right? Like desserts and stuff? Oh, streams are pretty good. I started up a little bit later because um, I was chatting with, uh, I was chatting with Dez. Sorry, I blanked for a minute there. Um, but so far, so good. I did have a puzzle that I got kind of stuck on because it was weird, but man, I feel like this person's chin gets longer every single time we see them. Okay, which person runs which business? A. C and I both work close to the bakers and the other place. C and I haven't dropped by the cafe for ages. D and I never bake bread. Neither A nor B runs the bookshop. E and I often visit the cafe and the grocers. C and I both work near the grocers. Okay, so... C and A are not the baker or the other thing. Where's my my book? Ah, oh, this is a lot of information. Okay. Baker. At bookshop, grocer, and cafe. Okay. So C can't be the baker or that. C also can't be the cafe. Uh. Try something. I feel like we kind of solve for C and then go for there. From there. Okay. C can't be either of those. C can't be the grocer. Whoops. So C is either the bookshop or the cafe. No, 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 no. C says it can't be the cafe. Okay. So C has to be... Um... I think C has to be the bookshop. Then. Okay, so if we say C is the bookshop. There we go. So A, B, C. We'll say C is the bookstore. Which means that nobody else can be the books bookshop. Okay. A cannot be the baker or the that. Okay. B can't be the cafe. C. So D also can't be the baker. And A or B can't run the bookshop. I already went through that. Well, no, nobody else can be at the bookshop except for C. E, D. D and E cannot be the cafe or the grocer. So I believe. OK, so A has to be the cafe. 
And if A is the cafe, nobody else can be the cafe. Okay, which I already figured out. And if A is the cafe, they can't be the grocer, so B would be the grocer. Wait, oh no, no, that, okay, that's not grocer, that's bakery. Grocer is... And if B isn't, if B is the grocer, they can't be that. Oh, and they can't be that. So E has to be the bakery, and D has to be the, uh... That bitch is right. Submit! Don't keep me in suspense. Oh! Gosh, that took... That, it, no see, my, the way I worked that out, I just wrote a bunch of bullshit, and then I... Worked it down from there. That took a lot more thinking than I thought it would, but we did it. First try. Correct. A runs the cafe, B the grocer, C the bookshop, D the patisserie, and E the bakers. By paying close attention, you can rule out which jobs they don't do. I know, that's what I did. I also wrote it down. So now you understand the complex, beautiful web of our local economy. As you must know, Mr. Lador founded this town in the middle of the desert. This spot we stand on used to be an oasis, the origins of the city right under our feet. It feels quite central to the whole city. I mean, to be honest, RC, I was gonna start streaming like much earlier, but then yeah, it's... then things happened as usual. Not to rush you, Murphy, but how about getting to the point? Yeah, not to rush you, but can you hurry up? Oh, quite, quite, to cut a long story short. Oh, I love my job, accountancy, books, the lot, fascinating work. Anyway, when Mr. Dalston was arrested, his situation took a nosedive, uh, more than a nosedive, really, a whole face dive, which is good because I know it's late for you. And without healthy competition from Mr. Dalston, Mr. Lador can just sit back and break in the profits. What we're dealing with here isn't social or physical damage, it's economic. And that's the worst of all damages, according to capitalists. Uh, but doesn't Mr. Lador's business also suffer if the tourists are frightened away? Ah, that would be true if that were true. <laughs> you see, everyone seems to be flocking to see these miracles. In fact, in the last month, Mr. Lador's overall net profits were up. Let's see, adjust the tax allowance, carry the five. Isn't that information confidential? Oh no, oh no, I've done it again. Yes, it's confidential, but wait, did I actually say anything? Let's just pretend that you never heard that last part. In fact, there never was a last part, which may actually be true. So in conclusion, what you're trying to say is that Dalston's arrest has led to great profits for Henry Lador. Exactly so. Was I clear enough? In fact, was I vague enough? I don't want to lose my license, you see. Professor, it seems that Mr. Lador has both the motive and the means. It certainly appears that way. Damn, L friggin... Henry, it gets, it gets harder and harder to, uh to say that you're not a bad person. Um, the neon is a bit loud, but it does go well with the gold. Humbug, everything goes well with gold. I would say artificial light matches your particular charms, Mr. Waltham. An excellent observation, dear girl. And may I also compliment you on your ability to maintain your senses in the face of my glittering wealth? I would prefer it if you didn't. Yeah, it's not that hard. Pshaw! Still, I can't expect everyone to appreciate the finer things. I doubt you can even grasp these rules. Oh no, the rich has given us a puzzle. Settle the scores. Three darts players have just finished a game with the results as shown. Can you work out how many points each different color section of the dartboard is worth? 
No two sections have the same value, and their value increases the closer they are to the center. Each is worth a single digit value of at least one point. Okay. So the middle, what if the middle is nine? Uh, yeah, if the middle was nine. Nine. That's a, that's. Nine. I'll say it's a nine. I'll say it's a, a nines for the middle. So you'd have two nines. What if it was like nine, seven, five, three? Actually, that wouldn't work out. Uh... What if it was eight, six, no. Okay, well, if it was nine, then this would be 18, and then the two outer ones would have to go to eight, so that would have to be a four. But let's try doing that. Let's, let's see what it looks like with those rules. This is a nine, and that's a four. Then if that's a nine, and that was a four. Wait, that's 22. If this was eight. Twenty-two. If this was seven, how is it a zero? Uh, let's look at it this way. Okay, because that would make the one on the right work. The one on the left, though, that would make that sixteen. Uh, 9, 16, 21, 25. Oh, actually, that does work. Okay, and then this one would be 15 plus 7, which would make 22. And then this would be 18 plus 8, which would make 26. Bam! Let's go with this. I'm going for it. Yay, I did it! God, that's really weird. Huh. Well, that's that. <laughs> as long as you remember that only possible values are from 1 to 9, this is just simple calculation. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, I didn't even use my book. I just did it all in my head. Soft toys. I must say that I'm impressed with such... L such lower class rabble could reason out the basics of such a refined sport. Um, not that it matters, but my family is actually rather wealthy. Uh, Mr. Waltham, money isn't everything. Maybe one, someday you'll realize that. Spoken like someone who earns an hourly wage. Wow, Waltham, you really are just... Uh, Jesus, I, this man! Ah! I didn't set aside any money for the trip back home. Well, it could be worse. The bloke next to me left a, with a small fortune. Too bad he'd arrived with a large one. He wasn't happy, having a real go at the manager. He was bellowing like some sort of big water buffalo. You can stamp and snort all you want, but no one will listen if you got no chips. Take it from me. I wonder if this is what we heard about, the disturbance at the casino. It doesn't sound as if it's related to the masked gentleman. You still want to look into it, Professor? 
finding peaceful solutions to potentially violent situations is the duty of every gentleman. Well, if you want to get to the casino, just keep on straight from here. Once you get to the end of the avenue, you can't miss it, mate. Just follow the trail of broken dreams. Uh, thank you for your time. Cool. Glad you guys are all having a great time. Okay, let's... Point. Oh, oh, oh! Who is this fine lady over here? Isn't this game for kids? You can definitely see her neon boobies. Is it? Is it okay because there's no nipple? Remember, as long as there's no nipple, it's safe for work, probably. Look at the ceiling! This would make such a pretty shopping arcade. That reminds me that I was actually fairly disappointed when I went to, uh... Each of these casinos seems to have its own unique theme. When I went to Las Vegas, and I found out that all the casinos were literally just, like, different malls, like, stuck together, and... It was, it was just kind of disappointing. Like... Because they were malls with, like, clothing stores and stuff. And maybe I just don't give a shit about clothing stores. But I was like, wow, this is incredibly boring. Is this the nightlight of life of Las Vegas? Somebody also offered me cocaine. Well, offered to sell me cocaine. I shouldn't say they just offered me cocaine. Um, and I was like, no thanks. And then I kept walking. Don't let go of my hand. I might get lost in all the tourists. Well, let me find out. Hey, it's going pretty well. How are you doing today, Dixies? Where are the... Oh. oh, that's a sad pig. Oh, that's a sad... That's sad. Well, bye, sad pig and lady. This looks like the place. Let's go in and see if we can help. Okay, well, first, I gotta look for hint coins. Okay, yeah, this... I mean, this is true. That's a... Whoa, hidden... Scorpion puzzle. Goodness, this sign really grabs your attention, doesn't it? The entire city is glowing with neon. Strange as it may seem, I happen to have a neon-related puzzle under my hat. Would you like to try it? Yeah, of course. Okay. Neon or orange, oh god. The sign for the shop has the logo in the middle surrounded by eight orange neon lights. Each light consists of a circle divided into 16 segments, some of which glow blue according to a certain pattern. Can you work out which segments should be lit at the top circle, marked with a question mark? Touch the segment to light it blue or turn it off. I like your stuff. Nice! Okay, um... Okay, I'm pretty sure it kind of shows the times, but they're like tilted to the wrong way. I'm oh god. Each circle has two lit segments. They may not look like it at first, but they do follow a, a pattern. Compare the neighboring circles and see if you can work out the pattern. Yeah, I'm. I already count how many spaces each lit segment moves between circles. No, because is it going backwards? What? If you start with one circle and move clockwise around the sign, you'll notice that one of the lit segments is moving two spaces clockwise within the circle of each time. What about the other one? Oh, it is moving too. Okay. So, that's moving. 
Wait, is it is that two? How about that one? Two. Two. Oh, what about the other one? Four. Four. Okay. So I just have to. God, I gotta. Rem okay. So this is moving. Four. 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 And this one's moving. Two. Oh, so wouldn't that be the only segment lit up then? Oh, hi, Ellie. Welcome and welcome, Lynn Marley. How are you doing? Welcome, Ellie. How was the raid? No raid. How was the game? I mean, I know I was there. I should probably close the window now that you've raided me, actually. Um, but how did the game go now that we figured out the audio thing and everything's actually working correctly. Yeah, how how was it? I don't know. God, I'm so I'm sorry, everybody. Welcome. I'm Chaos Hand. I'm currently having problems. Um. Wait, is that? OK. I feel like it's just oh, cause it's noon. I'm dumb, so of course it would well, be like that. Here goes. I did it. Okay, I finished. I I had to That's look at a bunch me. of hints because I didn't understand. You can't exactly hear. You. Well, yeah, I know, but I heard it and it seemed okay. And I'm pretty sure people would have told you if the, it was off. You see, the GameStop is selling Xbox One, and one has pretty much same price as it first came out. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that are trying to get a lot of money for dumb things um, or for things that really aren't worth that much. Like, I don't know, Skyrim. Bethesda calling you out. You would hope they. Yeah, I would hope so, too. But I mean, I know that's not always a thing that happens. But yeah, I would. I mean, I definitely would have told you if it hadn't been fixed, but. Yeah, hopefully it went well. We just started on Skyrim. Well, we were, I was talking shit on it earlier because I was in Ellie's stream. And oh, yeah, we were talking about League because they were like somebody um, Pyro was like, hey, is Wild Rift actually better looking than League? And we were like, yes. And then I was like, they don't need to fix it because they're still making a lot of money off of it, like with Skyrim. Even though they released like the legendary edition, I'm pretty sure it's still buggy as all hell. They're just finding different ways to sell it at full price. Yeah. They overlap. Got it. That was fun. Do you have any more like that one, Professor? Luke, seeing someone so keen on puzzle solving warms my heart. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, everybody loves a good pu I just wanted hint coins, actually. That's a scorpion. Um, probably, kid, I don't know. Hit coin. I mean, there's a few games I could go on and on about for a while until people were tired of hearing me, like, talking about them. I mean, it's like GTA V. I saw, I don't know if you guys saw or how many of you guys are avidly on um, Twitter and all that a lot, but apparently the hashtag, um, save red dead online has been trending because apparently Red Dead Online has gotten like no updates or support or anything while you know GTA 5 keeps getting well it, nothing even happens in GTA 5 they just release like cars and shit that you can get but they know that people will like spend money so they're just milking it as far as they can because the client is so ancient, changing anything would break the game. Yeah, they'd, I guess they'd just have to rebuild it. Everybody ready for 
League of Legends 2 coming out soon, just like Overwatch 2, which I haven't heard literally anything about that since, like, I first heard about it. Oh, man. Skyrim 20. I don't know. I don't want to think about that, but they probably will do that. Oh, it's Frankie. So let me get this straight. You're saying I'm the one who lost fair and square. Oh, I see. I'm the villain now, am I? That's a laugh. The only crook in here, that shady dealer of yours. We all have our off days, sir. I'll have to ask you to leave now. Tomorrow is another day. That's it. Let's see how calm you feel after I break your smarmy sunglasses. Uh, a moment, gentlemen. Let's all settle down and discuss this rationally. Yeah, League 2 coming to you in 10 years' time. Exactly. It'll be in, like, development hell. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! It's Narcisse with his <laughs> face! Oh, his moon face. Relax, citizen. It's all under control. God, his eye... Those aren't even eyebrows. His, like, it's like his skull is, like, pointy. Uh, why, hello there. While I simply cannot bear the sight of violence, I understand that there will always be conflict in the world. Which is why I suggest we resolve this in the most beautiful form of contest known to humankind. The puzzle battle. I don't know if that's true. I'm, of course, Layton's like, puzzles? Give it to me. Ah, go on then. Arcane took six years. You can only imagine the time it'll take. Yeah, I mean, this is true. Uh, I forget. I, uh, speaking of which, because Ellie, obviously, Arcane, was it done by, like, have, have Arcane and all the music videos and all that been done by the same company? Like, I don't know if it's actually owned by Riot or if they just kind of, like, have another company do it. But, but the same way, like, is the Ruined King, like, was that made by Riot, or is that, like, they're just, like, the publisher or whatever, but they had somebody else do it? Because I feel like it... I feel like it's a different company that made the game, but I'm not sure. Atomic Heart coming in 100 years. Oh, GTA 6? No. Actually, the only... Yeah, one of the big reasons why GTA 5 Online is still, like, super popular is because people use it for, um... For RPing a lot. Mark, mark my words, Mr. Fancy Pants. You ain't got no chance of beating me this time. Sure, you're correct. While I dislike confrontations, I find the notion of a puzzle battle quite intriguing. Please go on. I think they had a French company for most of their stuff, but not. Okay, I gotcha. Because that's the thing. It, like, basically, the League community is split into like two sides. There's the side of the League community that fucking loves everything that comes out, and they're like, Arcane is the best thing ever, and the story is amazing. And then there's the other side where the people are like, the animation's very good and all that, but the story is, I mean, it's League. And they, they apparently added a whole lot of stuff, um, you know, that obviously, like, like we talked about before, League doesn't really have a lot of world building. There's a lot of characters, and they have, like, snippets of stuff, but there's not really a whole lot to them, I don't feel like. You know, uh, like I said, other than what, like, the community has kind of gleaned or, or, um, like, theorized. Playing too much sleep. Well, people die from playing too much games because people don't know how to, like, ration stuff like that out. If people die from watching too much TV because they just won't stop. You know, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Come on, Narc, we ain't got all day. Okay. Oh, God. Jeez. Now, now, patience is a virtue. Gentlemen, this is a casino, and in a casino you battle with chips. Like potato chips? Because I'd love a casino where you battle with potato chips. Now, at a glance, these chips may look randomly placed, but behold! Each column deliciously adds up to 15. Oh. Oh. I mean, they're just not wrong. Oh, but what a dreadful state of affairs. The rows are bereft. 
of that same exquisite symmetry. <gasps> That's wrong. 24! We must help these poor disordered rows, mustn't we? So I asked you this, rearrange the chips so that the columns and the rows all add up to the same number. Beautifully balanced. Got that, have you? Move the chips around so each row and each column add up to the same number. Child's play, in it. Yeah. Yes, I think I understand. Whoever can do so in the fewest moves will, of course, be the victor. Just tell me when you're ready to answer. Okay, solve this puzzle. Got it! That was fast, Frankie. Let's see your solution. That's right, watch and learn. Ain't that a picture? Uh, you do appear to have solved it. Okay, what wh was I supposed to... Was I supposed to win? Moment while I check. Yes, indeed, every row and column adds up to 15. Bravo, and imagine the gentleman here will now humbly acknowledge... What the fuck? It's true that the conditions of the puzzle have been fulfilled, but... Yeah, they have. So what's your problem? You said the least amount of moves. Simply this. I believe there is a more elegant solution. Whatever do you mean, sir? All rows and columns are complete. If you're trying to save face, I must say I'm disappointed. Luke, what does this puzzle remind you of? It looks a lot like a magic square puzzle. Exactly. Except that... The way it is now, the solution is incomplete. Right you are, Professor. The rows and columns are fine, but the diagonals need to add up to 15 as well. Oi! Nah, don't listen to them. They ain't worth it. I just move the chips exactly like you. Oh, yeah, I forgot these two work together to try to cheat us. Frankie, your asinine comments are delightful, but please, there is no doubt about your victory. And yet, I concede, if this gentleman can show me a perfect solution, then you are utterly disqualified. Well then, allow me to demonstrate. Wait! He has to do it in less moves than me, or it don't count! Understood. I shall complete a magic square by touching only two chips. I don't believe that's possible, but by all means, prove me wrong. Remember, you can only touch two chips. To make rows, columns, and diagonals add to... Uh, okay, well... If you do that angle first, you got the answer. Yeah. Wow. I okay. Now I'm. Is that still okay? Is these already equal fifty? We gotta make these equal fifty. Well, that equals fifteen. These two do not, and that is actually that already equals 15 diagonally so this diagonal and these two rows need to change but touch two chips to make rows, columns, and diagonals out of... Jesus fucking Christ! Guys, I'm like at a loss. If I put this here, only, yeah. And that's not right anyway. Because uh, these already... 
adaptive. Is there some other way I can make them add up to 15 without fucking everything up? That's already already adds up to 15 as well. I don't want to mess with that. Or this row. That's 15. It's not gonna help me at all. Ah, God! Yes, erase everything, please. Um, what the? I can only touch two chips. God! Okay. Well, that wouldn't help at all. As far as I can tell, no, you, like it's not one of those ones that has like a weird something. Do bad, yeah. Is it, is it impossible? Like I don't fucking, let's give it a rest and call me the winner, eh? Hmm, I said I could do this by touching only two chips, but how I use those chips is key here. What do you mean how I use those chips? kidding me wow oh and it, it doesn't let me do it to anything else wow are you fucking kidding me uh. okay so, so that would have to be okay are you are you really wow fuck you Stuff like this kind of pisses me off with this game because it's like, you gotta think outside the box. And I'm like, doesn't that seem like cheating? I don't know. I'm just fucking saying. How'd you know to do that? I have to hand it to you. The thought of pushing chips with other chips would not have occurred to me. Most inspired. No, I feel like that's like just, you would get kicked out of a casino for doing that. You're very kind. You see that the rows, columns, and diagonals all add up to 15 now. Okay, well. Holy shit. A completed magic square has a certain beauty, don't you think? Yeah, especially when you cheat to get it, Layton. Jesus, bro, you really just had to win. I must agree. I have no choice but to declare victory for the gentlemen. Oh, come on, Nark, I had it. Now, Frankie, try to be a good sport, would you? I think it's best you left now. Oh, fine, I'll go, but this ain't over. Not by a long shot. I don't want to deal with these jerks again and their dumb stuff. 
That was some skillful arbitration, sir. I'd hate to add a one-man casino riot to Mr. Lador's growing list of worries. My pleasure. It was worth it just to see such a flawlessly elegant solution laid out before me. Yeah, whatever. My thanks to you as well, sir. I feel I owe you some sort of reward. The name's Drake, by the way. I'm the manager here. Professor Herschel Layton. And there's no need for a reward. I'm simply relieved that we could resolve the situation peacefully. I, on the other hand, would be more than willing to accept a reward for my skilled arbitration. <laughs> Narcisse, is it? Drop in and see us again sometime. I certainly shall. Don't forget me. Yeah, he's going to kill you the next time he sees you. That all kind of felt like one big sham. No matter, let's pick up the investigation where we left off. Okay, are we gonna look at the casino? Looking at these slot machines spinning makes my head spin. How about... Oh, somebody le yeah, thanks for the hint coin. I'm not stealing. I too find these gambling devices a little baffling. Yeah, what about that time you literally turned it into a gun, bro. You turned you turned a slot machine into a gun. These games lure in the tourists with their straightforward rules. Oh, hello, what do you got for me? You're one of the people in the puzzles. Glitzy. All the lights make everything look so exciting. Can I have a go on one of the machines? No, Luke, that's illegal. What's the rush, Luke? Are you so eager to spend your life destitute? What, what? But it looks like fun. Yeah, until you're broke. If your mind is so set on betting your chances, Luke, why not see if you can work out this card game? Wow, I thought that I, that lady was gonna do the thing. Oh, I guess she is. Okay. The dealer at the casino places 10 cards on the table in front of you and says, the total value of all numbers I can read from here is 45. The total of numbers you can read from there is 31. I win. Can you rotate as few cards as possible so that you and the dealer both have the same score? Dang, who knew that rotating the eight does nothing? Okay, um, well, that's an H. That's an L. Well, okay, because you... From... 45, 31. Late in addition, exactly. Okay, so that's 14. That's an L. I guess that doesn't count. Okay, so that that is 31. Okay. And from the other side. <sighs> oh, cause they can read all of the numbers cause all of the numbers are the correct way for them. Wait, is that 45? Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh yeah. Wouldn't that make it thirty-eight for both of them? Submit. But it is. An answer. Yay! I did it, Professor! I know, I can't just turn the screen, sadly. I mean, I could flip it. The 1, 2, 5, and 8 of 0 are worth the same either way. Out of the remaining cards, which 
are three, four, six, seven, and nine. You just need to rotate the seven to give yourself seven more points and take the seven away from the dealer, making it a draw. Yeah, take that dealer. I mean, I could do this. Wait, how do I? Oh God, that doesn't do, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought I could like just flip it completely. Off screens. Oh God, I'm making it worse. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Okay, because I can swap the screens. Oh, because right, there, there's that. Okay, I, I should probably stop messing with that. Yeah, but I thought there was a way to like flip it. Flip. Let's not worry about that. I'll just make myself sick. How was that? Did it quench your curiosity? Yes, thank you. Though I still would have liked to go. Yeah, well, I'm sure you would, but you shouldn't. You're a child. Continue your investigation. Very bored. Oh! Generous slot machine! I don't think I can just take that, but I guess I will. Hey, coin. Hey, coin. They aren't hard to use, you just pull the lever and lose. Nice, nice one. You have another puzzle for me, sir? You do. My apologies for the fuss before, Professor. Not to worry, I trust everything is running smoothly now. Smooth as silk, thanks to you. Naturally, we do get our share of upset patrons. You see, no security is usually quick to respond. I'm glad we didn't have to escalate the situation to Mr. Lador. Oh, is Henry involved in the day-to-day -day matters here? He is, and that tireless devotion to the smallest detail is why I respect him. If you don't mind, I'd rather not get back to Mr. Lador. I'd rather this not get back to Mr. Lador. You have my word. Perfect. Also, I understand that you are very fond of puzzles. Would you accept one as a reward for earlier? It's modeled on a slot machine we have here at the casino, but the similarities end there. Okay. What do you got for me? Whoa. Puzzle 85, slot sequence. The numbers on this giant slot machine aren't random. In fact, there's a rule that determines the sequence of numbers that appears every time you activate it. Your task is to work out the rule and predict what four digit number will appear next. Be warned though, you only have five chances. Touch the numbers on the touch screen to make your prediction. When you're ready, touch the orange button to activate the slot machine. Uh -huh. Pay attention to the pair of numbers in the two rightmost slots. It appears this is a two-digit number that goes up by one each time. Well, almost each time. I... Wait, oh, I can restart it, I guess. 3103. There is no restarting! You lied to me! So there's 28... 3103. Because it was 2802, right? Twenty eight zero two three one zero three. Um, 
three zero zero four. What? Wait, so if it went down by nine. Wait, but the, the three. What? That was so close. Oh, that's all that does. Well. No gamble. No, do not gamble. Do Lepmo slots don't change very much. They seem to almost always display either 30 or 31. What could be the significance of that? Wait, but wasn't the first one 28? It was 2802 to begin with, wasn't it? The pair numbers on the left and the pair numbers on the right go together and form a set. Furthermore, the two rightmost slots just cycle through the numbers 1 to 12. What could this mean? Months, 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 months and days. Okay, okay. So the reason why it was 2802 is because the second month has 28 days unless it's a leap year. So how many days does, how many days does May have in it? Echo, how many days are in May? May has 31 days. Did that answer your question? Yes. How about this? Ah! Okay! Puzzles Man, are how, are you, how are you just... How are, are you supposed to just figure that out in five pulls? Every four-digit number corresponds to a date, specifically the last day of a month. The next number in the sequence is the last day of the next month. Wait, oh... You just have to watch out for February, which only has 28 days. Good thing it doesn't deal with leap years. <laughs> okay, well. Fuzzy dance off. I hope you are able to whet your intellectual appetite. Indeed, very interesting. I don't believe I've encountered a puzzle quite like that before. Yeah, one where I can't restart it because you get one shot. I'm sure you must be busy with your investigation, but do take the time to drop by us again while you're here. Perhaps we can arrange for you and your friend to see a show. A sh what kind of show? Is it the kind of show that the booby neon sign lady is a part of? Dear me, I'd completely lost track of time. Let's make our way to Tingly Town as quickly as possible. Ah, uh, yes, let's. Tingly Town is at the north end of the city, if I recall. Finally, to the fun fair. Oh, to the fun fair. The Tingly Town. Apparently not called Tingly Town in the American version. Oh, I can't click on you, even though you look incredibly suspicious. Just so everybody knows, I am playing the European localization of this game, so there are some things that are different. Tingly Town sounds sus. Well, it's your people that decided Tingly Town was a good... It's terrible whenever you say it like that. It is your people. European localization, Tingly Town. Welcome to Tingly Town, the fantasy factory for all five senses, or whatever the sign says today. I know you, you're the clown we bumped into after the statues incident. Yeah, I'm um, Yuckles, and I hear the masked gentleman's playing another caper here tonight. Oh, goody. I still have nightmares about the night with the statues. I dream that they're running after me, very slowly. You're not involved? Well, I'm glad to hear that. You saw the statue's miracle up close, didn't you? Uh, pardon me, uh, yuckles. But we were hoping to stop the masked gentleman before he strikes again. Oh, the horrors! Isn't it just... Wait, 
He'll catch the menace and put an end to my nightmares. But you can't let your guard down. All right, how's this? I'll let you in, but only if you've solved at least 50 puzzles. So how many puzzles have you three cracked up to this point? Great, you proved you use your heads for more than just wearing hats. I feel a whole lot better about letting you in now. Here, take these passes. You can get in for free all week with them. Enjoy your time and end this reign of terror. Best of luck, but uh, in case you fail, I'll be running away for the night. Wait, run? No, I'll take the Mont d'Or tram. Gets to the race course in no time. You can buy a ticket from that machine over there. Oh, uh, enjoy, uh, and watch out for owls too. Clever blighters, always hooting when you least expect it. He is a strange one. I suppose it's a part of a cloud's trade. Shimmering Stellar Circus. Okay, well... Oh! There's another one here? Did I miss one? I thought I got all the... Yeah, the tram tickets are there. Yeah, they're coated in glitter. Never get that out. Yeah, Bunny, where, where is this... Where is this coin you're talking about, Bunny? Because the bunny will tell you if there's a hint coin hidden somewhere, but I thought I got them all. Yeah, you always love taking the tram. Great. Me on the ground? Okay, yeah, they spent a pretty penny on the upkeep. Oh, what is that? Now where shall we go? Oh, race core? Oh, okay, no, 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 we don't need to go there. Perhaps later, okay. So we can take the tram. It's kind of like taking the um, uh, the bus in the other game. Okay, I swear to God, it. This rabbit told me there's a hint coin somewhere, but I think it lied to me. Is it in the creepy vine? Is it in the bush? Okay, I think the rabbit lied to me. Going in here. Oh, Luke. <laughs> you should probably hang on to your hat. I guess we're taking yeah, we're taking the roller coaster. I guess. And Emmy, Emmy, do you not like roller coasters? Show me to where that masked rap scallion is. I'm ready to have at him. We've only just arrived ourselves, Inspector. I don't see any other police officers in the vicinity. Is uh, anybody else coming? Well, Sheffield's convinced that Dalston's his man. Gave half the lads a night off. The rest are patrolling the city center. Sheffield may claim to protect the city, but his overconfidence is really putting the people in danger. But with or without support from the police, we have to start our search. Right, Professor? Yes, we need to track down the masked gentleman before he's able to act. I naturally have already found the first clue. On my way in, I spotted a poster that read, A New Spin on the Miraculous. That, uh, certainly sounds like our theatrical friend. But what does it mean, Leighton? I'll need to think about that. There's no time, man. You sit and think. I'm gonna charge around until I knock him over for the yard. Bye, Groski. Now that Inspector Groski is occupied, let's consider this clue. A new spin on the miraculous. There's no shortage of things that spin here. I see the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, the teacups. And don't forget the roller coaster. Those wheels spin rather fast. Which should we investigate first? Seeing as you're so excited, I think it's fair we let you decide, Luke. Yeah, Tingly Town is Pumpkin Park in the US version. Which, the funny thing is, I think that's what that sign says. Or, 
Well, I don't know. Here, I'm gonna... Uh, actually, no. I don't even know what that says, actually. It doesn't say Tingly Town. I don't think it says Pumpkin Park. It looks like there's a P, but I don't... I don't really know. I'm not sure what that's supposed to say. <laughs> it might just be n nonsense. Oh, hello, friend. Hidden puzzle. It's just vague script, okay. Well, nothing seems out of the ordinary with the merry-go-round. A new spin on the miraculous. Professor, look, a poster! Oh, well spotted, Luke. It appears to be a puzzle. <laughs> Merry go tiles. These cheerful tiles can be put together so they form horse shapes of four different colors. With these nine tiles, you can make a total of 12 complete uniformly colored horses within the frame, but at the moment, the colors are all mixed up. Can you rotate the nine tiles so as to match up all the colors and make 12 horses? Oh, there's only, oh God, I, ha I have to make 12 horses. Ah! Okay, ah! Ah, I just realized that horse has two asses. That's not how you horse. Can't, uh. Oh, that horse has two faces. Well, I guess blue horse, brown horse ass. Oh, okay, actually that, wow. Damn, I just solved most of this puzzle. Holy hell. Okay, now I gotta fix the horse ass. I think I did it. I said 12 horses. Damn, guys, I'm so good at putting horses together. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Ha! Horse puzzle. That was a challenge to be sure. To be sure. Pattern looks so neat and tidy now that it's all lined up. There is still an awful lot of horse ass, but you know, it's fine. Hmm. What is it, Professor? The puzzle is based around a merry-go-round horses. I wonder if he's trying to lead us to look more closely at them. Leave it to me, I'll have a look. Thank you, Emmy. Do you think that puzzle is really the work of the masked gentleman? Well, he certainly is meticulous with his presentation. I wonder what'll happen tonight. Professor, I found this underneath one of the horses. <gasps> Fascinating. Is that? It's got a picture of the Mask of Chaos on it. Mystery. Hi, foe. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Are you relaxing after a long day of schooling? Yeah, the mask of chaos. I know. Aha! See, it's got my name and it also is a mask. Clearly a calling card. I wonder if the masked gentleman left any more around. You have classes at seven. Oh, do you? Oh yeah, you did say that you have one last one. It just your other class finished early, right? A at least that gives you a pretty decent break in between. Okay. Oh, I guess I should, let's look at this child. Did you get lost again? Yeah, you got lost again. Wham, well, Mammy, where are you? Lost again? Hmm. No, I mean, mom is. She said, or ma'am, she said she can get on the roller coaster, but we got off. She was gone. I think she's supposed to have like a Scottish accent or something. I don't know how to do that, especially not a small child. You had three, the fourth one is at seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Because I remember, oh, you you said that there was like a a bit of a, a break between them. But this is, is this your long day or is it like Monday, Wednesday or something? I always get so confused with college because I feel like I thought some classes you went to on multiple days, but also uh, not. It's been many years since I went to college. So I could just be wrong. It's the long day. OK, OK. OK, you're crying. Uh, please don't cry. We'll find her for you. I'm not crying, man. I'm, I'm frustrated. My mom needs to stop going off on her on her own. Well, maybe that's just Did your mother give you some instructions in case you I mean, in case uh, she got lost again. Um, I she said I got to the pumpkin spinners, pumpkin spinners to the pumpkin spinners after we talk to this man. Well, you're most of the way through it. And then it just, as it becomes a pattern, then it becomes easier. You just gotta get through them. And then you don't have to go through the classes again. And then everybody's happy. <laughs> ha, 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 it's awfully bright and loud. And would you believe it even reeks of pongy feet? What? What does that mean? Ugh, I'm sweltering inside my own beard. It could do with a wee trim. This tune doesn't seem to have a decent barber. Aha! Uh -huh. I believe we found our next miracle. The astounding length of Mr. Tannenbaum's beard. Emmy, that's rude. The man just grew it out. Ugh, well the pair ye wished. Wished? Man, I wish I had somebody who could actually say this. <laughs> wished. My head is splitting me. Ah, it's better we wee bit of peace before a miracle malarkey. Actually, if you do, can <laughs> if it's still happening, I cannot make head no tail of all the rumors. Yeah, right. Yes, neither can I, sir. Another puzzle. There's so many hidden puzzles. The roller coaster seems to be just the same as when we went on it earlier. Perhaps you should have another go on it. No, I mean, I don't think that's necessary. You're not scared, are you, Luke? No, 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 not at all. It's just that we should be looking for clues from the masked gentleman, not going on rides. Come to think of it, something did catch my attention while I was watching you go round earlier. Really? I don't remember anything out of the ordinary. That panel over there. Didn't you see it? I never even noticed. I had my mind on other things. Uh, could it be a message from the masked gentleman? May well be. Let's have a closer look. Da -da -da, it's a puzzle. Da -da 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 -da. 40 Picarats. <laughs> Below the roller coaster lies a stack of see through panels with red arrows. Originally, there were four panels, but someone's gone and taken one. Given that each arrow points in a different direction, can you tell which panel is missing? Which arrow is missing? Probably the down arrow? If you draw each arrow a different color, it should be easier to work out. What do you mean it should be? What? <laughs> but they're all. Ugh. Thought I could draw on this. <laughs> I 
Panels may be transparent, but each time they overlap, it becomes harder for light to pass through them. One area of the arrows is noticeably darker than the rest. What can you conclude from this? Yeah, okay, that it would have to, yeah, it would have to be the left and right and up. Wait, well, the up is definitely good. My, yeah, my brain can't. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm thinking too, but then I'm like, Because it still should be darker on, like, these sides if it's the left and right. I figure it's got to be the down arrow. Like, I, I just feel like that's the only one that would cover all those other spaces. Oops! I, Don't keep okay. me in suspense. Okay, I was right. The whole- I was just thinking too hard. There is no puzzle without a solution. Oh yeah, just so everybody knows too, I ordered um a wireless uh like microphone. It looks kind of funky, but I don't even care at this point because I'm I'd probably just use it for um like cooking streams and stuff because it's not like your traditional label mic. It's like an actual like over the head mic, and it's got the battery thing like right here. So it's probably gonna look weird, but I don't care. It's it's like a, a good start to things. Also. When I talked to Des about it earlier, she was like, I could just give you mine. And I was like, oh, well, I'm, I was like, I already bought this one, so I'll try it out. And it never hurts to have more than one thingy. Yeah, the arrow facing down was missing. Because the panels are transparent, the arrow gets darker the more they're... Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. But yeah, and I'll probably... I'll test that mic out later, because I want it to have it for, like, cooking streams. And also for, like when I do recordings of like working out and stuff like that, because it'll be a lot easier than me trying to maintain consistent volume with a mic that's a sitting on my desk. So what does the missing arrow mean? I imagine it means we should look in that direction, perhaps under the roller coaster track. Okay, I'll go and have a look. Gosh, Professor, the masked gentleman is really cunning. Imagine planting clues in a ride. He does seem to relish leading us on his little treasure hunt. Professor, look! Look what I found! The Mask of Chaos. There's no doubt it's a message, but this card doesn't tell us very much on its own. Okay, which means... Okay, so we have to get, like, all of the roundy round things. I always get nervous when it's still climbing to the top. You know... Guys, I, you know what I just realized? I have not been to an amusement park or on a roller coaster in... Incredibly fast. In, like... Two years? I remember I, I went to Six Flags a while back with a friend, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember how long it's been. But it's been a very long time. Not that I go to amusement parks very often, you know, but at the same time, it's just weird to think of like, oh, a lucky tick. That's a ticket. Yeah, I mean, I also like the last time I went to the well, b b the last time I went to a movie theater before I saw uh, Spider-Man No Way Home was probably sometime last year. Granted, we're not that far into this year, but I mean, like early last year. It's just really weird to think of, like, how many things we don't do nearly as often as we probably once did. I'm also really sad because, uh, well, I have to check it out because there was supposed to be a concert happening in February that I was going to go to, um, but I believe they pushed it back. And I'm just like, man. Oh, it's this chick with the lips. Tanya, the mother of the daughter. Eee, that daughter of mine is lost again. I told her to wait by the pumpkin spinners if we got separated. She's a bright lass, like, but she gets distracted by pretty much anything. Balloons, clowns, mud. Oh. 
Well, if there's anything I can do to help... Eh, no, pet, I couldn't bother you with this again. She'll turn up in a bit, she always does. I suppose if the masked gentleman is meant to show up tonight, I should probably go and find her to make sure she's okay. No and Bonnie, she'll probably see him and run after him to his secret supervillain lair. Maybe he'd fancy having an apprentice. Wow, your daughter is literally like the next screen over. Oh, it's Mystery Lady. All right, no, wait, Hannah's the top of the Groski fan club, I forgot. And the only member. For my darling Groski, I'd run through fire, swim in ocean, or even spend a, the day at the fair, which, I don't know, does that, that doesn't sound like dangerous compared to the other stuff. With any luck this evening, we'll start on the Ferris wheel and end with a smooch. Oh, don't mind me, just daydreaming again, you know. <laughs> I heard that the masked gentleman would be here, so I knew Clamp would be too, but I've lost him in the crowd. Hannah, you need to develop other interests. Maybe knitting, photography, paper mache modeling, a anything. You're right, I could knit Clamp dolls, collect snapshots, and oh. I'm surprised there aren't more police here. That younger detective must have gone to check out the hotel. Really? Uh, which hotel was that? I'm not sure. They said something about a meeting and an inn. Clamp stayed behind, though, so we'll be perfectly safe. Is that right? Aha! The third puzzle. This huge Ferris wheel is perhaps one of the more obvious spins at the fairground. It's moving a little oddly, isn't it? You're right, Emmy. It looks as if it's coming to a stop bumpily. I wonder if it's broken. Wait, is it? Puzzle, 90. Loose connection. That's dangerous. Oh no, it's one of these slideys. Oh no, a cable section in the circuit has come loose and now the Ferris wheel's controls don't work. You have to repair the yellow cable quickly. Fix the circuit by moving the long yellow section down to the gap at the bottom of the grid. Oh no! Oh. Okay. The, uh, oh! That seems important. I didn't know I could move it. Uh, they're turning the other way now. Seems bad. Okay, I. I hate this puzzle so much. What if I put these up in this corner? Maybe. Oh, wait. Okay, well, that was actually kind of, that didn't work very well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, I just wedged everything, never mind. I feel like I need to get this clock thing up there. S somehow. Oh god. I re this is 70 picarats too, so this is gonna be a huge pain in the ass. As usual. Like, I, I just, I hate these puzzles because I can never figure out the solution. Like, I, I, very rarely have I gotten the solution on my own. Wait! 
Oh, jeez. Did I... Actually, did I just fucking almost... Almost do it? Never mind. I can't... Uh. <sighs> what if... God, 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 I wish this thing wasn't so long. Okay, let's see. Okay, 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 I think we're making progress. Maybe not, I feel like I just kind of scooted everything exactly back the way it was before. Well, except well, except that doesn't do anything! <laughs> it's like what? This one fucking part! Oh, this is so bullshit. Hey, that's it! Okay. Not that one. Mm. There we go. You can solve this puzzle in 18 moves? Well, let's fucking see it then. Whoa, they actually have pictures for this. Yes, I'm looking it up because fuck like my brain coming up with this solution in a timely manner. Probably also scoot. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the- I had to get all that shit up there. Oh no, apparently. Uh, uh. Oh, no! You do- okay, you do that, and then that, and- oh, okay. I believe I have this one. Well, we did it. I did that all on my own with absolutely no assistance from Google or anything of of that type. Anyway, God, slidey puzzles. Yeah, 18 moves, give yourself a round of applause. No, like my brain can't do that. This connection is on your puzzle index. Ferris wheel is running normally again. I wonder where the ride operator is though. Professor, there's a card stuck to the side here. It's got a picture of the Mask of Chaos on it. I knew it! Ugh. What does he think he is endangering those innocent Ferris Wheel riders? Mm. Obviously a token left for us by the Masked Gentleman, but it tells us little on its own. Presumably it's just part of his message. The last part of which is probably right here. Yep. Let's see what this is. There's the teacup ride. It's kind of a spooky version, isn't it? Indeed, far less inviting than your everyday giant teacups. Still, it does set a pleasantly spine-tingling tone for the ride. Hmm, there's something funny about those teacups, and it's nothing to do with them looking like pumpkins. Oh, what is it this time? What's wrong with this? Uh, oh. Um. Here's a popular ride found at fairgrounds everywhere. Fairgrounds. The spinning teacups. Well, something like that at least. Aren't those pumpkins? Anyway, one of these five spinning cups, or of these five spinning cups, one is not like all the others. Can you find the odd one out? What? <laughs> Excuse me.
Uh. Uh. Oh, it's B. The pattern's Just a wrong. Dash of puzzle solving here. Yeah. That was a challenge to be sure. Yeah, because they it wouldn't stop. The seats are split into colored segments, and every pumpkin except B has the same order of colors. It's hard to tell with all that spinning though. Wow! Imagine that! <laughs> Game. Hmm. I believe something may be hidden in that pumpkin there. Layton's apprentice to the rescue! I'll go investigate, Professor! I suppose investigating a teacup ride shouldn't be too dangerous. Haha, <laughs> no, I think he's quite safe. And before Luke just dies. Professor, do you have any idea what the masked gentleman is planning tonight? Difficult to say. The fact that he chose such a crowded venue is worrying, though. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna get badly hurt. Professor Emmy, I found this card stuck underneath the seat in the teacup. Good work, Luke. Hey, it's the Mask of Chaos. Again. Hmm. It's a message from the Masked Gentleman. But what could it mean, I wonder? Well, we have four cards. So that's our fourth card. Hey, Professor, I think we have the whole set now. Look! Hmm. Yes, they form a map of sorts. I believe the masked gentleman wants us to go to that tower up on top of the hill. On the hill, I see it! According to the guidebook, that's Tingly Tower! It's the control room! <laughs> Tingly Tower! <laughs> European versions of things are fun. Everybody, we're going to the Tingly Tower! Is that where the masked gentleman plans to perform his miracle? Certainly has a commanding view of the entire park. His tingly tower is so tall! Layton, a moment if you please. Ah, uh, hello, Herschel. Henry, Angela, you came after all! Herschel, I asked for your help and you deserve our trust. The iPhone ad about the watch calling the emergencies. Ah, wait, that. I don't think I've seen that one. I've seen a lot of other dumb things. Hi, cat. Welcome, princess. How are you doing? How was how was gaming today? Oh, meal mage. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello. Hi, guys. Oh, there's a lot happening right now. I'm glad I have your sound alert, so I know exactly when you've entered chat too, cat. We're do we're we're finally doing more Layton. And Henry's here, and we're about to go to Tingly Tower, apparently. Oh, you're playing 15? Nice! Man, it's been a long time since I played 15. I really should, um... I really should play it again, because I know they did a lot of stuff in updates and all that. It was good you made new friends. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, Henry has something to say. What? Really? Oh, jeez. Sorry, friend. You spent the whole day- oh wait, really? How, why? Were you just doing like side missions or- Because there's a lot to do in 15, so. I ap apologize for my behavior earlier. My responsibility is to my city. I will do whatever it takes to help you apprehend the masked gentleman. Thank you both. With your help and the knowledge of the city, I'm sure we'll track him down. Yeah, it's fine. You know what? I- I honest to God, I got- and I haven't used my VR in a while, but I really should. I got the VR fishing game for 15, because I really like fishing in Final Fantasy 15 a lot. I could spend all day fishing. Yeah, why would you ever want to move from Canada to the United States? Don't do that. Move to Canada, if anything. Or any other country, honestly, that has like universal healthcare. I'm just glad we arrived in time. What do you know about his plans for tonight? Do you know where he's hiding? Like, I... Visiting, sure. Like, I want to get you out here to visit. Or even Hawaii. Hawaii might be a better place to visit, just because, I don't know, beaches and stuff. But 
Yeah, VR fishing. It, 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 it's it's a VR fishing game on PS4 for Final Fantasy 15. I don't know if it's on like, is Final Fantasy 15 on Steam? I mean, they might have it there as well. I don't know if it was PlayStation exclusive. Partial, please tell me you found something. Both. You vote both. I mean, I'm okay with, with both, too. I would just love to have you here. It's on Steam now, which is why you're playing it. Yeah, apparently the PC version is a lot of fun to play just because obviously, generally, PC graphics and all that tend to be better, plus you can dick around with stuff, so. Yes, I believe we have. He planted a series of clues around the fairground. Really? What sort of clues? Seems to be leading us to Tingly Tower, the park's control room. I still can't get over that name. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Okay, guys. We're on, well, before I go to Tingly Tower, I'm going to look for more um, hint coins. Hint coin. Ooh! Ghost husk? Okay! I found a ghost husk. And I'm not even playing Phasmophobia. God, you know what? Ectoplasm would be like a really cool addition to Phasmo. I don't know. Like some like like seeing stuff like that. Drippings. I mean I don't I don't know how much ghosts actually leave ectoplasm behind or if that's just like an exorcism thing or what, but you know. Hand coin? Hand coin? Wow. Hand coin? What's over here? Hidden puzzle, I bet. No, that's a that's an awful lot of hand coins in Tingly Tower. Uh -huh. Wow, this is Tingly Tower. It looks like an exotic place. If I didn't already know his control room, I would have thought it was another attraction. This certainly is a fitting location for the masked gentleman's theatrics. I wonder what he's planning. A panic in the middle of a crowded fairground could be catastrophic. We must prevent his next miracle somehow. Wait, Professor, look up there! A ghost excretion? You don't know about that? Well, I want to see their goop. Give me the goop, ghost. They won't let us take pictures. You should have Edward Zunder, Radcliffe do Henry voice, you think? Well, I think Zunder's in, in bed. RC said something about that earlier. Oh, my God. So many streams saving. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I played a number. Aha! Uh -huh. I am delighted to see that you have made it. Tonight's miracle is for the select few who are clever enough to find my clues. Now, on with the show. Or playing. Well, she said he was in bed, so I don't think he could be playing Battlefield. He might be on the Switch. Or maybe he's actually asleep. I don't know. He never actually said anything in chat, so I just assumed he, he kind of put it up and then, like, went to bed. Wait! Ha 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 ha! Catch me if you can! And then Leighton just like pulls out a Glock. Oh, never mind. Blast! He disappeared into the control tower! Henry, wait, what exactly is inside the tower? Industrial grade power relays, mostly. All the electricity for the park is routed through the tower. That sounds incredibly dangerous. Naturally, we keep it locked so that nobody can. Dog! What if he cuts off the power to the rides? He could endanger all the visitors. I need to play with unpe- No, that- Okay. First off, th th that's not something that happens. Second off, the ghosts, like, put handprints on everything. They're unhygienic. I'm just trying to figure out what they are so we can get them out of there as soon as possible and get their dirty ghost hands off of all of everybody's stuff. And maybe they want to drop goop every now and then. I don't know. You don't have any editing software? Okay, no, 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 I got you. I have Audacity, which is usually what I use. 
doesn't quite seem theatrical enough for the masked gentleman. Still, we should follow him inside. Anyway, there's nothing sexy about playing with your own goop, Ellie. Uh, uh, Ellie. You know what? I'm not gonna kink shame, but I'm just saying. Um, Professor, how are we supposed to find the masked gentleman in the dark? Henry, do you know where the light switches are? Or did you bring, like, I don't know, a flashlight? No, I've never needed to come in here before. Um, let's see. <laughs> Worry not, my esteemed guests. You have the best seats in the house. You'll see in just a moment. And shake the nether parts of Well, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, to be fair, I don't do that unless I'm like at a urinal, you know. Well, and even then, I don't, I don't know. Remember, you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. Where are you? Show yourself, villain! How dare you threaten my city? Your city, hmm? Is that what you think? Though I suppose, yes, this foul pit of greed and tawdry thrills does reflect its creator perfectly. You built this city as a monument to your grotesquely swollen ego. I can't wait to see your face when it's all gone. I don't like him talking about how swollen things are inside this tingly tower. How dare you? Now, now, Lador, I'm actually helping you, you know? I'm teaching you a valuable lesson in humility and giving you exclusive entry to the most miraculous show on Earth. Ha <laughs> ha! Professor, he's getting away! Well, we must cut off his escape. Hurry, everyone. Puzzle time. Never mind. He's gone. Wait, I thought he was gonna go deeper into the tingly tower. He can't be far. He must have come back this way, no? Then the only way to go is back down the hill. Quick, back to the fairground! Okay, well, back to the fairground. Pretty sure we've only solved half of this game's puzzles. Cutscene! Hmm? Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm surprised that uh, there was no voicing in that. There was just a lot of us looking around. The fairground is empty. Where did everybody go? Is this the trick? No, we're too late. Did they just vanish? No, she... Ellie is not Gwyneth Paltrow. Impossible. It has to be a trick. Hmm. <laughs> Congratulations! You are now members of an exclusive club. Fairground visitors who still exist. You monster! Why are you doing all of this? Why, Henry, I'm doing it for you! So you can understand what it means to have everything you've worked for vanish. I knew it! It's gotta be Randall. After all you've done for me, paying your back paying you back in kind is the least I could do. <laughs> Eek! Oh, we got Angela. Angela! Henry, help me! Okay, bye! <laughs> Henry's just like, oh, I'm gonna stand here and be angry! Wait, no! Angela! Angela! Wow, all right, okay. Uh, Professor, he's taken her, and Henry's not doing anything. We must act quickly. That scene? That scene? That scene? Nope. We're back here. Yeah, the butler, but the butler is now the owner of everything. He was the butler back in the day, but now he's rich. Beyond compare. They're gone. I'm sorry, Henry. They went this way. We can still catch them. Calm down, Henry. If the masked gentleman planned to harm Angela, he would have done so already. Huh? Professor, do you hear that? Something is happening inside the control tower. Maybe it's Angela. Angela, I'm coming. Henry, wait. Jesus. Now cutscene? No, <laughs> still this. Angela, where are you? 
Henry, it's all right. I'm fine. This was but a small taste of the anguish I will bring you, Lador. A little appetizer before the banquet. But it will never be enough. Everything I had, you! What are you talking about? Who are you? What have I done to you? <laughs> Henry, have you no feel for drama? We need a good cliffhanger to build anticipation for the final act. Final act? Oh, what could he mean by that? I promise it won't disappoint. Believe me when I tell you there will be nothing anticlimactic about this one. And don't worry about getting good seats. You'll be able to see tomorrow's miracle from anywhere in the city. It will be the last and greatest miracle of my illustrious career. <laughs> He's just going to drop a nuke on the town. Is that it? He's just going to glass us, sir? No. This ends here. You seem ill-equipped to stop me, Leighton. But if you don't, well, there will be casualties. Quite a few of them. In fact, I imagine there won't be an accurate body count for quite some time. He's literally gonna fucking bomb this place. What are you doing? And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you a fond farewell. What is that lunatic planning? Henry, what are you going to do? I don't know, but it's my duty to protect the city. Hmm, perhaps if you gave him the Mask of Order like he asked, he would stop all of this. It must be among the treasures you found in the ruins, Henry. If you search thoroughly, I'm sure you'll find it. I can't. That treasure... Uh-huh, what about it? Henry, you must stop hiding it. Think of the city. Angela, I'm not hiding anything. Why would you say that? If I might interject, I don't think it's safe to stay here. We've yet to find out what happened to the people who vanished. Uh, of course. Okay. Well, the masked gentleman has escaped once again. I don't like what he said about being able to see the next miracle from anywhere in the city. It is rather troubling indeed. Whatever he's planning must be enormous in scale. Maybe this time everyone in town will disappear, or turn into statues, or s spontaneously combust. Perhaps, but I fear it may be something far more real than his tricks so far. What about making everyone in Tingly Town disappear? Was that a trick? We won't know until we find them, I suppose. Uh, they're back. Excuse me? Excuse me? What on earth? Everyone's back. It all looks just as it did before. There's no sign of panic. What is this? But they vanished. We all saw it. What does it mean, Professor? I wish I knew, Luke. I think that we're high. Perhaps this was just another sample of the horror we can expect tomorrow. But why were the five of us the only witnesses? He wanted me to see it. Yes, Henry, I think you need to tell us everything. Anything that you know. I mean, this is also true. Ellie is better than Gwyneth Paltrow. Do you really have no idea who the man under the mask might be? Is there no one you've made enemies with? No, I don't know. I don't know anyone who could be capable of this. Why has he gone so far? I'm going home. I need to think. I need to construct some sort of plan for that monster's return tomorrow. Can you also release Dalston from prison because he's obviously not the man? I'll come too. I'm exhausted. Good night, both of you. Take care. Is anybody else going to worry about Dalston? It's almost as if these fairgoers are unaware that they disappeared. Nobody looks panicked or even confused. Professor, here comes Professor er, Inspector Groski. Leighton, I saw Lador and his wife hurrying away from here. Did something happen? 
Yes, we had another encounter with the masked gentleman. Impossible! I was on a scene! How could I have missed that? Inspector, you've been here at the fairground all evening, is that right? Of course! I've been policing this place within within an inch of its life, looking for the masked ne'er-do-well. And there were people around enjoying themselves the whole time? Yes, unless they were only pretending to enjoy themselves. Is that it? No, nothing like that. So you didn't notice anything unusual. Professor, it sounds as though Inspector Groski didn't even notice when he and the others disappeared. I believe you're right, Luke, and I think that's a vital clue. But it's getting late now. Let's go back to the hotel. Inspector, you should know that the masked gentleman threatened us with a final miracle tomorrow. He said it will be visible from anywhere in the city, so we must prepare for a large-scale event. Please report this to the Chief Inspector. Ask him to post as many officers as he can on the streets. No, of course! Until tomorrow, then! Okay, are you gonna release, friend? We'd better get some rest. Let's resume our investigation in the morning. Something that can be seen from anywhere? What could the masked gentleman be planning? Well, whatever it is, it's going to dwarf everything we've seen up to now. Thus far, he's used misdirection and simple illusions, but such tricks are hard to pull off on a large scale. Professor, could he use the power of the mask? Is that what killed Randall? No. No, that was my fault. If I had been a better friend, Randall would still... Yeah, friend is... Oh, this is true. He probably is safer in jail, huh? Okay, new. The crowd of visitors in Tingly Town vanished all of a sudden, then reappeared minutes later, apparently oblivious to the whole thing. What could have happened to all those people in the meantime? That bustling crowd at the funfair should have all... Or should all suddenly leave seems highly unlikely, to say the least. When we trailed the masked gentleman back in through the tower, the crowds at the funfair were all back again. But how? Drugs. Save your progress. But I do. 76 puzzles. What chapter are we up to? Chapter six. This is, this game, like, I've been playing it for a long time. We're only in chapter six. Most of these games go up to like chapter I don't know, chapter something. Let me let me look up how many chapters. How many chapters are in Professor Layton and the Miracle Man? There's only oh, there's only eight chapters. Okay, so it's a lot. It so it's well, maybe there were only eight chapters in the other ones. Uh, I don't know. That was longer. But I think this is probably where we're going to end for today because I know it's getting late for a lot of people and I kind of want to go make dinner. So yeah. But we we got quite a few puzzles done today and we still don't know who the Miracle Mask Man is. I kind of feel like it's Randall considering all of the stuff he's saying about revenge and all that. But I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see. I don't know.